we are actually thankful to the Bristol Institute of Business Management for once again being our sponsor. Three, two, one, here we go. Ginigathena records the highest annual rainfall in Sri Lanka. Which district is Ginigathena located in? In which district is Ginigathena located? So Ginigathena apparently has the highest rainfall now. Where is it located? Is it Noorelia? Is it Kegal? Is it Ratnapura? Or is it Kandy? Wow, the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, is Noorelia. Now, Vatavala used to be, for many years, the city or town which records the highest rainfall every year, right? So usually it's around 3,200. So now it's a very close difference between Ginigathena and Patavala. Patavala is also in the Nuralia district. Ginigathena is also in the Nuralia district. A lot of people think it's Ratnapura. Well done to the 27 of you who got that. Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard after the first question. All right, so Cat Lady is up into an early lead. Let's look at our next question, an easy, uh, not an easy question, it's an interesting question. Let's see how well you can answer this. Countries are striving to have a net zero carbon footprint. Out of the following countries, name the only carbon negative country in the world. A lot of countries are trying to achieve a net zero carbon footprint. What is the only carbon negative country in the world? Is it Bhutan? Is it Iceland? Is it Singapore or is it Costa Rica? Wow, excellent stuff. Well done. So, a lot of countries are trying to have a zero carbon footprint. That is, they are trying to get the carbon emitted from human uh, activities to zero. So, they are trying to create more oxygen and trying to negate the carbon uh, created by the human activities, right? So there are two countries which are carbon neutral. One is a country called Suriname. Bhutan is the only carbon negative country in the world. Wow, fantastic, right? It is covered by more than 70% of forests. It is probably the cleanest country to live in in the world. Okay, so well done. 42 of you got the correct. 22 thought was Iceland, Singapore, Costa Rica. All these countries have pledged to be carbon neutral, they are, they are trying to do it, but Bhutan right now is the only carbon negative country. Well done to the 42 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Right, Cat Lady is still in the lead, very closely followed by Nuan. Just eight points the difference. Hey, Mitch is also close by. Dana M is in fourth, Milan is in fifth. Well done, girls and boys. We move on to our next question. Which of the following is not celebrated in the month of October? Which of the following is not celebrated in the month of October? Is it World Elders Day, World Temperance Day, Halloween or International Literacy Day? Interesting question. Wow, excellent stuff. So, October is a highly celebrated month, okay? A lot of events happening in October. World Elders Day and Children's Day falls on the 1st of October. World Temperance Day, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to consume alcohol, right? Is also on the 3rd of October. Halloween is celebrated, especially in the Western countries, on the 31st of October. But International Literacy Day is celebrated on the 8th of September. Well done to the 39 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Sherlock has jumped up into second COVID, second wave. It's <laughs> third, Dinky is in fourth, AK is in fifth. Yeah, off to an excellent start. Let's look at our fourth question. Also an interesting question. Let's see. How many will get this right? 
when modern new york city was created the city was divided into five boroughs which of the following is not a borough when new york was created the city was divided into five boroughs which of the following is not a borough is it manhattan is it the bronx is it queens or is it harlem interesting question the correct answer is harlem now when the modern new york city right new york is known as the greatest city in the world when the modern city was created in the 1800s the city was divided into five boroughs manhattan the bronx queens brooklyn and staten island right it's very interesting fact of history after this quiz just uh, google it and find out what the five boroughs are harlem is actually a neighborhood in manhattan okay so out of the five boroughs uh, harlem is uh, not a borough it's actually a neighborhood in the borough of manhattan well done to the 36 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard now all right so covid second wave is waving <laughs> and coming up once again into the lead dinky is in second all rounder is in third Snow is in fourth. Brownie girl is in fifth. Well done. Let's look at our next question. In which state of the USA is the famous Grand Canyon located? In which state of the USA is the famous Grand Canyon located? Is it Texas, Arizona, Colorado, or New Mexico? Get those answers coming in. Well done. The correct answer is Arizona. So let me show you this picture, right? The Grand Canyon, one of the most iconic landmarks, natural landmarks in the world, is located in the state of Arizona. If I ask you, what is this river that you see flowing through Arizona, uh, the Grand Canyon? It is the Colorado River. Because of that, a lot of people confuse it into the uh, uh, thinking that. The Grand Canyon is also located in the state of Colorado. No, the Colorado River flows through flows through the Grand Canyon, but the Grand Canyon is located in the state of Arizona. Well done to the 47 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Betsy is in the top five for the first time. Cat Lady is in number five now. Covid second wave is still in the lead, closely followed by Dinky and All Rounder. Okay, we move on to our next question. Question number six. Awarded once every four years, what is considered as the highest award presented to mathematicians? Awarded once every four years, what is considered as the highest award to be presented to a mathematician? Is it the Nobel Prize? Is it the Maths Olympiad gold medal? Is it the Chern Prize or is it the Fields Medal? Well done. The correct answer is the Fields Medal. So the Nobel prizes are being announced this week, right? So we already have the announcements for chemistry and physics. I think the literature is. Uh, I think the Nobel Peace Prize is supposed to be announced today, right? So. It's a it's an exciting week for those who follow Nobel prizes like me. <laughs> I love finding out who the Nobel prize winners are every year. Uh, the mathematics Nobel prize, or considered to be the Nobel prize for mathematics, is called the Fields Medal. It was uh, initially started off by uh, it's awarded by the International Mathematical Union. It started off in 1924. It's presented once every four years. The Fields Medal is the highest award presented to mathematicians. Ganang kaare onto labin pulan din da pulan lokuma thay ka thamai. In the May Fields Medal le ka. I'll show you this picture. This is the Fields Medal awarded to mathematicians from around the world. Well done to the 37 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Betsy is now into third. Rahul J into the top five for the first time. Sherlock is also into the top five. Kobe second wave still leading, closely followed by Dinky. Well done. 
We are down to the last couple of questions of round number one. What is the only country to have humans depicted as a major design element on their national flag? This is the flag. What is the only country to have humans depicted as a major design element on their national flag? Is it Bermuda? Is it Cuba? Is it Belize? Or is it Benin? Correct answer is of course Belize. Let's look at this flag. Okay, so this is the national flag of Belize. It's a country in Central America. It's a very nice flag, right? It is the only country which prominently features an image of two humans, right? Humans are very, uh, it's a very uh, uncommon thing on national flags, but Belize is the only country in the world to prominently feature human beings on its national flag. It's a country in Central America. Well done to the 48 of you who got that correct. Excellent stuff. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Schrodinger's cat is into the top five for the first time. COVID second wave still in the lead. Let's look at the last question of round number one. What is the only continent located in all four hemispheres? What is the only continent located in all four hemispheres? Is it North America? Is it South, is it South America? Is it Africa or is it Asia? Of course, the correct answer is Africa. I'm surprised that not many of you got that correct, right? Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard after round number one. All right, Dinky has overtaken COVID second wave into the lead. Schrodinger's cat is in third. Rahul J is in fourth. Batsy is in fifth. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two is on current affairs and world politics to get our first question. Perhaps for the first time in world history, a convicted murderer was recently sworn in as a member of parliament. What is his name? Perhaps for the first time in world history, a convicted murderer was recently sworn in as a member of parliament. What is his name? Premalal Atukorala. Is it Premalal Disanayaka? Is it Premalal Vijayasekara? Or is it Premalal Jayasekara? Trick question. The correct answer is Premalal Jayasekara. Now, this is nothing political, right? It's just a fact, a pure fact. Uh, he is probably the first convicted murderer to be sworn in as a member of parliament. And Sri Lanka has that uh, honor, if you can call that an honor. Premalal Atukoral is actually the current mayor of Kote. He is the mayor of the town that I live in. Premalal Disanayaka is Bertie Premalal Disanayaka, the father of Dominda Disanayaka. Premalal Vijayasekara, I don't know who that is, I just made that, made that name up. But Premalal Jayasekara uh, became the first convicted murderer to be sworn in as a member of parliament. Well done to the 51 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. So Rahul J is in third place. Dinky is still in the lead. Very closely followed by COVID. Second wave. Tatsi is in fifth. Schrodinger's cat is in fourth. Let's look at our next question. Borneo is the only island to be politically administered by three countries, which is not one of these countries. The island of Borneo is the only island to be politically administered by three countries. Which is not one of these countries? Is it Indonesia? Is it Borneo? Is it Brunei? Or is it Malaysia? Wow, well done. A lot of people think it's Brunei. So let me show this map. So Borneo is the third largest island in the world. It's also the largest island in Asia. Okay, so it's divided among three countries. If you see the southern part, this, you see the southern part if, below this red line, it's governed by Indonesia. The northern part is governed by Malaysia. But this small piece, can you see this small piece on top divided by this uh, red line? 
it is the country of brunei one of the richest countries in the world brunei is also located in borneo borneo is not a country in itself it is an island administered by three uh, three uh, different countries it is also the home of the orangutan borneo the island it's also uh, the home to diverse species of animals including the asian rhino right fantastic island uh, well done to the 36 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard now all right so dinky is still in the lead showing us cat is in second Rahul J in third, Patsy is in fourth, New Yuan is in fifth. Let's look at our next question. Who is the current president of South Africa? Who is the current president of South Africa? Is it Nelson Mandela? Is it Cyril Ramaphosa? Is it Jacob Zuma or is it Thabo Mbeki? Those answers coming in. Well done. The correct answer is Cyril Ramaphosa. Or how what I do is that to remember this day, my sort of it rhymes with Samaposha, right? So <laughs> I I remember this name that way, right? So Cyril Ramaphosa is uh, the president, the current president of South Africa. One person thinks it's still Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela passed away quite a quite some time back, right? Jacob Zuma, Thabo Mbeki were also presidents of South Africa, but the current president is Cyril Ramaphosa. Well done to the 40 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Rahul J is slowly climbing up. Schrodinger's cat is in third. Batsy is in fourth. Nuwan is in fifth. Dinky is still in the lead. Well done, Dinky. We are down to question number four. I think it should be an easy question. This ancient symbol used in many cultures was adopted by Hitler and turned into a symbol of hatred. What is this sign? Easy question. This ancient symbol used in many cultures was adopted was adopted by Hitler and turned into a symbol of hatred. What is this sign? Is it the yin yang? Is it the trishul? Is it the om or is it the swastika? Of course, the correct answer is swastika, and overwhelming 70 of you got that correct. Now, why I asked this question was recently uh, a town in the state of New York called Swastika. Uh, there was a legal battle, right? Some people in that city said you shouldn't be uh, this, this town shouldn't be called Swastika because it was a symbol. It is a symbol of hatred. But their argument was it is a Uh, it's actually a Sanskrit sign. So this, uh, this swastika is actually derived from Sanskrit. It means uh, well-being. It's a very ancient sign, and it was a sign which portrayed well-being until Hitler used it for his Nazi movement, and it became a symbol of hatred. Right. So they won this case because they said it was uh, based on the Sanskrit symbol swastika. Well done to the seventy of you who got that correct. Let's look at the leaderboard now. Okay, Schrodinger's cat is in second now. Dinky still in the lead. Rahul J is in third. Patsy is in fourth. Nuwan is in fifth. Well done, Shock Squatch. You're making a comeback with three in a row. Look at the next question. The book Dictatorship Within a Democracy was launched recently. Which president does this book talk about? The book Dictatorship Within a Democracy was launched recently. Which president does this book talk about? Is it Maitri Pala Sirisena? Is it J R Jawadana? Is it Mahinda Rajapaksa? Or is it R Premadasa? Interesting question. Wow, excellent. So a very split set of answers, right? So the book title Dictatorship Within a Democracy was written by the grandson of J R Jayawardena the first executive president of Sri Lanka right probably you might consider the others also dictators within a democracy i don't know but this book Dictatorship Within a Democracy was written by J R Jayawardena's grandson on J 
J.R. Jayawardena, the first executive president of Sri Lanka. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Rahul J has jumped up into the lead for the first time. Dinky is now in second. New one is in third. Schrodinger's cat is in fourth. Batsy is in fifth. We look at our next question. Three individuals were announced this week as winners of the Nobel Prize for the discovery of a virus. What is this virus? Three individuals were announced this week as winners of the Nobel Prize for the discovery of a certain virus. What is this virus? Is it COVID-19? Is it Hepatitis C? Is it HIV AIDS or is it Ebola? Wow, excellent stuff. You guys have been following the news. So, Harvey Alter, Michael Houghton and Charles Rice this week were announced as winners of the Nobel Prize for the discovery of the virus Hepatitis C. Well done. Excellent stuff. 59 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, a bit of a change. Schrodinger's cat into third. Batsy is in fourth now. New one is in Fifth, Rahul J still in the lead, very closely followed by Dinky. Let's look at our next question. Recent news reported several deaths in rural areas due to rabies caused by the bite of which animal? Right? Several rural areas in Sri Lanka reported several deaths due to rabies caused by the bite of which animal? Rats, jackals, dogs, or squirrels? Excellent, you have been watching our local news very closely, right? So jackals, this problem has erupted over the last few months where jackals have been, you know, uh, visiting towns and villages in places like Kalutara, Horana and biting people, right? Several people have died due to rabies. In fact, there was a report of a child being bitten in Horana. I think the jackal had crept into the house and bitten this child. Even uh, it was announced, it was uh, on the news this evening. Jackals is the correct answer. Well done to the 45 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Yeah. Right, A. Mitch has entered into top five for the first time. So has Sanuka. Let's look at the final question of round number two. This is the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in New York. What is this new building called? This is the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in New York. What is this building called? Is it the World Trade Center? Is it Ground Zero Tower? Is it Tower of Liberty? Or is it the One World Trade Center? The correct answer is the One World Trade Center. Quite a few think it's the Ground Zero Tower. So the One World Trade Center was built uh, in the same location where the World Trade Center stood before the 9-11 attacks. Very uh, critical juncture in human history. A lot of people were killed, unfortunately. So the US government decided to build this new building. They called it the One World Trade Center, or it's also called the Freedom Tower. It is 94 floors high. It is considered to be the tallest building in the US at the moment. So 35 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after round number two. Let's uh, first look at this building. It's a fantastic building. 94 floors, the tallest building in the US at the moment. Well done to the 35 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after two rounds. All right, not much of a change. Rahul J is still in the lead at 13,583. Very closely followed by Dinky, Schrodinger's cat, Haymitch, and Sanukar. Round number three, we have eight questions on business, science, and marketing related questions. Question number one Garuda Airlines has continued to operate during the pandemic. Garuda is the national carrier of which country? Garuda Airlines has continued to operate despite the pandemic. 
Garuda is the national carrier of which country? Is it Bangladesh? Is it Malaysia? Is it Brunei or is it Indonesia? Well done, excellent stuff. So Garuda Airlines is the national carrier of Indonesia. So it was in the news because they had painted an airline with a mask, right? You see this picture? They had, it's a nice picture, right? <laughs> they had uh, painted an airline with a mask, right? To uh, show that they are, uh, you know, they are promoting uh, the wearing of masks, right? So Garuda Airlines is the national carrier our national airline of Indonesia. Well done to the 54 of you who got the correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Right, not much of a change. Rahul J still in the lead. Let's, well done French Fry, you're back with an answer streak of three, excellent. Let's look at our next question. Sleeping sickness is a common and often fatal disease in Africa. Which animal causes sleeping sickness? Sleeping sickness is a common and often fatal disease in Africa. Which animal causes sleeping sickness? Is it the mosquito? Is it pigs? Is it the tsetse fly? Or is it the rats? Well done, excellent stuff. So, there is this huge fly called the tsetse fly in Africa, right? So, the tsetse fly goes and bites a human being and it causes sleeping sickness. It is often a fatal illness as well. People die because of sleeping sickness. Well done, 63 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change. Remember, this is the third round on business and science related questions. Well done, Keanu Reeves, you're back with an answer streak of three. Wow, we have some Hollywood celebrities taking part as well, right? Out of the Adam Baranel, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> well done. Let's look at our next question. Hong Kong, South Korea, and Singapore are three of the four Asian tiger economies that grew from 1960 to 1990. What is the fourth Asian tiger? Is it China, Taiwan, Malaysia, or Vietnam? Hong Kong, South Korea, and Singapore are three of the four Asian tiger economies that grew rapidly from 1960 to 1990. What is the fourth? Well done, the correct answer is Taiwan. So there were four uh, economies that grew rapidly from 1960 up to 1990. Hong Kong, South Korea, and Singapore, along with Taiwan, you know, growing up, most of our toys, if you uh, now nowadays, most of the toys, right? If you turn it upside down, it says made in China, right? When we were growing up, most of the toys were made in Taiwan. They had a fantastic economy, right? It's now under much debate. China is claiming they own Taiwan. Taiwan says it's a free country. Well done. 43 of you got that correct. The four Asian tigers are. Hong Kong, South Korea, Singapore, and Taiwan. Well done. So these four economies really grew during this period from 1960 to 1990, right? Even South Korea, uh, they developed so many uh, electronic appliances, automobiles, right? Fantastic. Let's look at uh, leaderboard now. Okay, showing us cat is now into the lead. Dinky is in second, Rahul J is in third, Hey Mitch is fourth, Batsy is in fifth. We look at our next question. What is the most common gas in the Earth's atmosphere? What is the most common gas in the Earth's atmosphere? Is it nitrogen? Is it carbon dioxide? Is it hydrogen or is it oxygen? Of course, the correct answer is nitrogen. So nitrogen, uh, the Earth's atmosphere comprises 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, 0.04% of carbon dioxide, right? 61 of you got that correct. Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change, the top five. Schrodinger's cat 
very slender lead over Dinky and Rahul J. Well done. Let's look at our next question. Which world famous US automobile brand does this logo represent? Which famous US automobile brand does this logo represent? Is it Chrysler? Is it Tesla? Is it General Motors or is it Chevrolet? Of course, the correct answer is Tesla. Almost everyone got that correct. Uh, one person thinks it's General Motors, one thinks it's Chevrolet, but that logo you saw, this logo on the screen right now, is the logo of Tesla. Well done, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, excellent stuff. 74 got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not so much change, of course, in top five. Showing us cat still in the lead. Let's look at our next question. Which planet in our solar system spins the fastest on its axis, meaning it has the shortest day? Which planet in our solar system has the shortest day? Is it Jupiter? Is it Earth? Is it Mars or is it Mercury? Interesting question. Which planet on our solar system has the shortest day? Wow, a lot of people think it's Mercury. Right, the correct answer is Jupiter. So let's look at how long these planets take to turn on its axis, right? So Jupiter takes 10 hours, just 10 hours, right? So a day in Jupiter is like 10 hours, the day is gone, right? Earth, of course, takes 24 hours. None of you thought that was correct. Well done. Mars takes 25 hours. Mercury takes up to 1,408 hours, right? So it's probably the slowest spinning planet in the solar system. It takes 1,408 hours to turn on its axis. Right? Probably a really long day. You know, some of us have long days. So if you're on Mercury, you will have a long day every day. Jupiter has the shortest day, 10 hours. Well done. 31 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Showing us Cat still in the lead. Rahul J is in second now. Dinky is in third. Patsy is in fourth. Hey, Mitch is in fifth. Well done, man with no brain. You have three in a row and you're back in the game. Excellent stuff. Let's look at our seventh question of round three. Darjeeling tea is an exclusive and highly sought after type of tea. Where is Darjeeling located? Darjeeling tea is an exclusive and highly sought after type of tea. Where is Darjeeling located? Is it Sri Lanka? Is it Scotland? Is it India? Or is it Ireland? Well done, excellent stuff. So Darjeeling is a very popular location for tea. If you can see this picture, the, the climate, the geography is a bit like Morelia as well. So like Ceylon tea, Darjeeling tea is an exclusive, highly sought after type of tea. Darjeeling is located in West Bengal in India. Right? Excellent stuff. 45 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Showing us Cat still in the lead. Batsy is now in third. Rahul J in second. Dinky is in fourth. Hey, Mitch is in fifth. Remember, anything can happen. Don't give up. You can always come up and win. We are down to now the last question of this round. Name this highly endangered mammal species found in Himalayas and China numbering less than 10,000 grown animals. This animal you see on screen is a highly endangered species. Is it called the raccoon? Is it the red skunk? Is it the Chinese sloth or the red panda? Wow, excellent stuff. So the picture you see on screen is that of a red panda. Looks a very cute animal, right? So it's a very highly endangered species. It's currently on the red list of highly endangered species. Less than 10,000 of these animals live. 
in the eastern Himalayas and western China. Well done to those of you who got that correct. This is the red panda. 41 got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after three rounds. All right, so Schrodinger's cat is at 20,406. Very closely followed by Rahul J. Patsy is in third. Hey Mitch is in fourth. AK is in fifth. Round number four, questions on history, literature and the creative arts. Like a lot of things can happen during this round. A lot of people hate this round, but I love this round. History, arts, literature, anything can happen. Two more rounds to go. Let's see. Round number four. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech on the steps of which famous landmark? Martin Luther King gave his famous I have a dream speech on the steps of which famous landmark? Was it the Statue of Liberty? Was it the White House? Was it the Empire State Building? Or was it the Lincoln Memorial? Well done. So Martin Luther King Jr., the famous American activist, gave a famous speech in 1963, right? He said, he repeatedly said, I have a dream. If you haven't heard the speech, go to YouTube and search Martin Luther King, I have a dream. It was given on the famous, on the steps of the famous Lincoln Memorial. Well done to the 51 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard. AK has overtaken Hey Mitch into fourth position. Schrodinger's cat still with a slender lead over Rahul J and Patsy. Well done. Let's look at our next question. The most iconic character of Charlie Chaplin's career also became his nickname. What was it? What was Charlie Chaplin's most iconic character? It also became his nickname. Is it the big shorty? Is it the tramp? Is it British Hitler? Or was it the smiling assassin? Wow, that's a divided answer, <laughs> right? Let's look at this picture. So this character that you see on screen, Charlie Chaplin's character was called the Tramp, wearing this big bowler hat, this, uh, you know, this jacket, black jacket, vest coat and a tie. It was called the Tramp. It was created by Charlie Chaplin himself in 1915. It became his most iconic character as well as his nickname. The other names I just made it up. A lot of people think British Hitler, but the correct answer is the Tramp. Well done to the 27 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard. Milan is into the top five for the first time. Well done. The other top four positions remain the same. Let's look at our next question. Samuel Langhorne Clemens wrote several books, including Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn under a pseudonym. What was his pseudonym? What was Samuel Langhorne Clemens's pseudonym? Was it Mrs. Silence Duguid? Was it Lewis Carroll? Was it Robert Galbraith? Or was it Mark Twain? He wrote Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Excellent stuff. Samuel Langhorne Clemens was known as Mark Twain. Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in Wonderland, had a different uh, birth name. Robert Galbraith is actually J.K. Rowling. Do you know who Mrs. Silence Duguid is? Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the USA, wrote under the pseudonym of Mrs. Silence Duguid. <laughs> Interesting, right? Mrs. Silence Duguid was Benjamin Franklin, he appears on the $100 note as well. Louis, uh, Mark Twain was Samuel Langhorne Clemens's pseudonym. Well done to the 59 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change in the top five. I think everyone in the top five got that correct. Let's look at our next question. What was the dreaded disease that sailors and pirates suffered? due to vitamin C deficiency. What was the dreaded disease that sailors and pirates suffered due to 
vitamin C deficiency? Was it bad breath? Was it diphtheria? Was it cholera? Or was it scurvy? Well done, excellent stuff. Now this disease caused scurvy. You look at this guy's teeth, right? It's disgusting, right? Due to the lack of vitamin C on long sea travel or sea tours, sailors and especially pirates got this dreaded disease called scurvy. Their gums start to sort of disintegrate, their teeth start falling out, and you can even die from scurvy. Bad breath, yeah, probably many of them had bad breath because they drank a lot of rum and they ate a lot of fish, <laughs> right? Diphtheria is another respiratory disease. Cholera, definitely not a disease that is uh, exclusive to sailors and pirates because of vitamin C deficiency. The correct answer is curvy. Well done to the 50 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, showing us Castle in the lead. Melan is now in fourth. Hey, Mitch is in fifth. Rahul J very closely behind. Showing us Cat also. Uh, closely following is Betsy in third position. We are down to our next question. Which Sri Lankan king played a practical joke and lost his throne to the doorkeeper that looked like him? Which Sri Lankan king played a practical joke and lost to his lost his throne to his doorkeeper who looked like him? Was it Subaraja? Was it Yasalala Katissa? Was it Vankanasi Katissa or was it Chandra Mukha? Excellent stuff. So Sri Lanka has a very interesting history, right? So we had this king called Yasalala Katissa who overthrew his brother Chandra Mukha and became the king. So Yasalala Katissa loved playing practical jokes. One day he realized his doorkeeper, Subha, looked like him. He thought, wow, right? I can make a joke out of this. He, he called Subha into his room, into his chamber, and he exchanged clothes, right? So he, he told Subha to dress up as the king, while Yasalala Katissa dressed up as the doorkeeper. So when Yasalala, the, the doorkeeper Subha sat on the throne, the ministers came and bowed before him, and Yasalala Katissa just laughed, right? He thought it was very funny. Yasalala Katissa was the real king, dressed as the doorkeeper. So Subha, now who was acting as the king, asked the ministers, why is this guy laughing? Right? And despite Yasalala Katissa's protests, he said he keep, kept on repeating. He was saying, no, I am the real king. Subha ordered him to be executed. And Subha Raja became the doorkeeper, became the king of Ceylon or Sri Lanka at that time. Well done to the 51 of you got that correct if you do not know that very interesting piece of history do read it up right a lot of uh, articles on that there was even this picture was taken uh, from this famous stage drama called Subha Saha Yasa right Subha is the doorkeeper Yasa is the Yasa Lala Kadisa, the king well done to the 51 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard now all right, so hey, Mitch and AK are back into the top five. Well done, Schrodinger's cat still in the lead. Very closely followed by Rahul J. Let's look at our next question. According to popular legend, what was King Arthur's sword call? According to popular legend, what was King Arthur's sword call? Was it Albion? Was it Excalibur? Was it Trastana? Was it the Sword of Omen? Interesting question. The correct answer is Excalibur. Well done. So, uh, legends has it that this Excalibur, the sword you see on the screen, was stuck on a rock, and only the true king would be able to pull it out. King Arthur pulled it out. He was, I think, a young boy when he pulled it out. He became the king. The sword's name was Excalibur. Kastana is the traditional sword of Sri Lanka. <laughs> Three thought it was correct. Astana was the correct answer. Albion is supposed to be the sword of uh, Robin Hood. If you watch the cartoon Thundercats, Lionel 
the leader of the thundercats uses the sword of omens right but the correct answer king arthur's sword was called excalibur well done to 53 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard not much of a change in the top five we are down to our next question which singer or actress plays the role of the popular Disney character Hannah Montana? Which singer cum actress plays the role of the popular Disney character Hannah Montana? Is it Lindsay Lohan? Is it Kelly Clarkson? Is it Miley Cyrus? Or is it Selena Gomez? Of course, the correct answer is Miley Cyrus. So Miley Stewart is a character in, uh, it's a Disney character. She also plays the dual role of Hannah Montana. It's played by Miley Cyrus. Well done to the 44 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Melan is back in the top five. Schrodinger's cat still in the lead. We are down to the last question of round number four. Which of the following is not a percussion instrument? Which of the following is not a percussion instrument? Is it the xylophone? Is it the guitar? Is it the cymbals or is it the bongo drum? What is not a percussion instrument out of the four? Look at those answers coming in. The correct answer is of course the guitar. Now, musical instruments have about five families, right? There's the string family, which includes the guitar, the violin, the cello, the bass. Then there is the percussion family. Anything that you hit on, so xylophone, you hit on xylophone, the bongo drum, the drums you play on, cymbals, two, two cymbals knocking on each other, they are called percussion instruments. Then there are the brass instruments, woodwind instruments, and keyboard, the keyboard family. So interesting research. Do Google and find out after this quiz. I'm sure many of you are musical students, music students of music. So you should know this answer. Well done to the 40 of you who got that correct. We are at the end of four rounds now. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change in the top five. Schrodinger's cat holds a slender lead at 27,975. Very closely followed by Rahul J. I think less than 300 points between them. That's is in third. A. Mitch is in fourth. Melan is in fifth. Well done, Liam. 007, you're back in the game with three in a row. And down to the last eight questions, sports and games. Let's look at our first question. In which of the following countries have they not played Indian Premier League tournaments? In which of the following countries have they not played the IPL? Is it India, Bangladesh, South Africa or the UAE? Well done, the correct answer Bangladesh. So some people think uh, 21 think it's a UAE. UAE is where I, where the IPL is currently happening, right? If you watch, if you're watching the IPL, if you switch on the sports channels, IPL is happening right now in the United Arab Emirates. South Africa was actually the place where they had the second IPL. It was in 2008, where the IPL uh, coincided with the Indian general election, so they didn't want. Uh, you know the IPL to uh, disturb the Indian elections so they had the second IPL in South Africa India of course is where they've been having the past uh, many tournaments but they have not had an IPL in Bangladesh well done to the 31 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard now not much of a change exactly a 200 point difference between the top two Betsy is in third, A. Mitch is in fourth, Milan is in fifth. Let's look at our next question. Lionel Messi is one of the most celebrated football players in the world. Which club does he currently play for? Which club does Lionel Messi currently play for? Is it Manchester United? Is it Juventus? 
Is it Bayern Munich or is it Barcelona? Let's see how well you know your football. Of course, the correct answer is Barcelona. Lionel Messi, the captain of the Argentinian football team, has only played for Barcelona. He has been with Barcelona from his junior ages, from 2004. He has only represented the Barcelona football club, right? Well done, Messi. Well done to the 49 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Milan uh, is into the top five. Once again, Sirisena. Wow, Sirisena has returned <laughs> with a bang in the top five. Well done. Schrodinger's cat still in the lead, closely followed by Rahul J and Patsy. Let's look at our third question. Who won the women's singles title in the recently concluded US Open? Who won the women's single title at the recently concluded US Open? Is it Serena Williams, Venus Williams, Naomi Osaka, or Victoria Azarenka? Well done. So Naomi Osaka won her third Grand Slam. She, this was actually her second US Open uh, title. She has, already, she has also won the Australian Open. And she beat, uh, she actually beat Victoria Azarenka in the finals to be the champion this year. Well done to Naomi Osaka. Well done to the 45 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Sirisena is now in fourth. AK is back into the top five. Schrodinger's cat, a very slender lead. 190 points now, I think the difference. Patsy is in third. We are down to our fourth question. Which famous WWE wrestler had a popular catchphrase called You Can't See Me? Which famous WWE wrestler had a popular catchphrase called You Can't See Me? <laughs> Was it Hulk Hogan, John Cena, Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Bret The Hitman Hart? Of course, it's John Cena. Sorry, there's a small typo. It's heart. The last answer, Bret the Hitman heart, should be H A R T. John Cena had the popular catchphrase called You Can't See Me. And he even has a music video called You Can't See Me. Hulk Hogan, Dwayne Johnson, all popular wrestlers who went on to become film stars. But John Cena had the catchphrase You Can't See Me. Well done to the 55 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, not much of a change. Still a very close uh, difference between Schrodinger's cat and Rahul. Rahul J is creeping up inch by inch. Anything can happen. Four more questions to go. Let's look at our next question. What is the Sri Lankan version of the popular game of Kabaddi Call? What is the Sri Lankan version of Kabaddi? Is it Eluang Kama? Is it Changudu or is it Kopara Kopara Pipinya or is it Olinda Kelia? Easy question. I'm sure you'll get this correct. Of course, the correct answer is Changudu. Very similar to the game of Kabadi, Eluan Kama, Kopara Kopara Pipinya, and Olinda Kelia. Also, very popular games during Sinhalese and Tamil New Year. But the correct answer. The Sri Lankan version of the popular game of Kabaddi is called Changudu. Right, let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change, very close now between Rahul and Schrodinger's cat. Let's look at our sixth question, interesting question. What is the name of the new martial arts style created by Bruce Lee? What is the name of the new martial arts style created by Bruce Lee? Is it Karate? Is it Shotokan? Is it Jiu Jitsu? Is it Jit Kune Do? Excellent stuff. The correct answer is Jit Kune Do. Now, Jit Kune Do means the way of the intercepting fist, right? So they, they use the fist to intercept Bruce Lee created this art in 1967 karate of course it's a traditional art 
Shoto Khan also, I think, was created in uh, the 1800s. Jiu Jitsu, also a popular martial arts style, but Jeet Kune Do was the martial arts style created by the great Bruce Lee. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, only a few in the top five got that correct. Schrodinger's cat still a slender lead over Rahul J. Patsy is in third. Siri Sena returns, is in fourth. AK is in fifth. We are down to the last two questions. Anything can happen now. Here we go. Mahjong is a popular tile based game played all over the world. Which country does Mahjong originate from? Which country does the popular tile based game Mahjong originate from? Is it China, Japan, Korea, or Mongolia? Wow, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty easy answer, right? Mahjong, right? If you watch a lot of movies, if you play Mahjong on your mobile phones or your mobile device, you'll know it's a popular tile-based game. It originated from the Qing Dynasty in China. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct, right? Something in Japan, Korea, Mongolia, but Mahjong originated from china excellent stuff let's look at our leaderboard there might be a change now wow no still no change excellent stuff the so schrodinger's cat still in the lead a very slim lead now i think it's 128 points wow how close can you get right betsy is in third siri sena returns is in fourth ak is in fifth well done. The stuff round, three players lost their ass streak. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, we are down to the last question of Let's Get Quizzical. Game number eight, powered by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. Here we go. Fingers crossed. All the best. The late Dean Jones featured in the second tight test match in history scoring an epic 210. Where was this match played? Was it Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai or Bangalore? Dean Jones played in the second tight test and scored an epic 210. Where was this match played? Was it Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai or Bangalore? Wow. <laughs> so this match was played in 1986, right? So Dean Jones, one of my uh, icons, I grew up watching Dean Jones playing ODI cricket, fantastic player. He passed away a couple of uh, weeks ago, uh, very sad, very uh, died at a very young age. He was commentating the IPL from Mumbai. So he scored 210 runs. It's considered to be one of the best ever innings played in a test match. It was a very hot and humid ground in Chennai. Well done to the 21 of you who got that correct something. It's 20, uh, 21 think it's Calcutta as well. But the correct answer is Chennai. Let's look at the winner of Let's Get Quizzical. Game number eight, powered by the Bristol Institute. Let's turn up our volume a bit and reveal our winner. Well played, everyone. Excellent. In third, Patsy. Well done. In second, Rodriguez Cat. And we have a new winner of Let's Get Musical. Rahul J. Well done, Rahul. Excellent stuff. Sirisena is in fourth, AK is in fifth. Fantastic effort, right? A very close game. Rahul J winning it in the last question. It's youtube.com slash C slash SL Masterminds. Thank you so much for taking part on a very hot and humid Thursday evening in Sri Lanka. Excellent stuff. We have a new winner. Congratulations, Rahul. You are the winner for the first time at Let's Get Quizzical. Have an awesome evening. Take care, stay home, stay safe. God bless you all. Thank you.